Hey guys, welcome back to level six math. Today we are going to be looking at Saxon math lesson 14. Uh, now this is a lesson that really gives a lot of students trouble. All right, we're looking at the number line with negative numbers. We've talked about negative numbers a little bit before, but we haven't done problems with negative numbers. And this is a really tricky concept until it clicks. Once it clicks for you, your life will be changed for forever um, because we deal with negative numbers all the time. And so the reason I love this lesson is we're going to think about numbers on a uh, number line. And if you can visualize the number line when you deal with negative numbers, it's going to make a lot more sense. If you're simply thinking about adding and subtracting negative numbers, it's going to get tricky for you. And so we want to visualize number lines. Okay. So first let's review. Uh, a number with no fractional part is an integer um, that includes counting numbers and whole numbers. We can write them as one, two, three on up. Now, positive numbers are anything greater than zero. Negative numbers are anything less than zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. And we see on a number line that we can arrange numbers in order, and that includes negative or numbers. So we can start with negative numbers and go to positive numbers. On this number line, the points to the right of zero are positive and the points to the left are negative. Now we do use negative numbers in a lot of different ways. So for example, a temperature below zero Fahrenheit might be written as negative five degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold. Uh, when I lived in Wisconsin, we got down to like negative 20. You don't want to go outside when it's like that. All right. An elevation of 100 feet below sea level might be negative 100 feet. So if you live out on the coast, there are places that dip below sea level. Um, and that's important to acknowledge. And then a stock price might jump from $23 to $21.50, and that might be shown in the newspaper as a negative or a drop of 1.50. Um, you can go into debt, like we talked about a few lessons ago, that would be being in the red, and you can represent that through negative numbers. Okay, so let's arrange these numbers. Now, if we think on a number line, zero is gonna be in the middle, and then any negative numbers will be to the left of that, and any positive numbers will be to the right. So this one's an easy one to arrange, because we just think zero is gonna be our middle number, the negative number is gonna be first, the positive number is gonna be last. So we can look at that and just take our negative two, zero, and one. Not too tricky so far, okay? Now if we compare, this is where it becomes a little more difficult. Normally when we compare three to four, we think four is greater. But if we're thinking in negative numbers, we have to think about that on a number line. So if we're on a number line, and this is zero, and we go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, which one is less? Less is the one furthest that way, which in this case would be negative four would be less, and negative three would be greater. Now, without that number line or without visualizing that number line in your head, this is gonna be really tricky because we're used to thinking four is greater than three. But in negative numbers, it's the opposite. And so you really have to picture a number line. So negative three is three less than zero and negative four is four less than zero. So negative three is a greater, it's a greater value than negative four. All right, the number negative five is red, negative five. Notice that the points of the number line marked five here and negative five here are the same distance from zero, okay? That, so we'd call them opposites. Um, just like two and negative two are opposites, three and negative three, they're the same distance from zero. The tick marks show the location of numbers called integers, so we're calling each of these an integer. And integers encode all the counting numbers and their opposites, so it's including negative numbers here, as well as zero. Zero is considered an integer. It's not positive or negative, it's just an integer, okay? If you subtract a larger number from a smaller number, so for example, if you start at two and you subtract negative three, or if you subtract three, that means you're going three to the left, one, two, three. That ends you up in a negative number, so you can, now solving a problem, two minus three equals negative one. We haven't done that before, and it's kind of weird, unless you can picture it on a number line. So always try to think, even if you don't write it down that way, think it in your mind, okay, on a number line, what's this gonna look like? So if we subtract five from two, we're gonna, again, a lot of students, they, by default, if you say subtract five from two, 
five minus two, that's three. It totally makes sense, right? No, it doesn't. Because you have to think, if you're starting with two and you're subtracting five, that's going negative. If we look at that on the number line, and we're starting here at two, and we subtract one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, this is where we end up. So if this was positive one, two, and this is negative one, two, three, four, et cetera, subtracting five from two gets us here at negative three. So you can't just do what you're used to and defaulting to three, this time it's gonna be a negative number. Now you notice there is a pattern there. It was the same answer, five subtract two, you just put a negative in front of it, and that's gonna be the easiest way to solve these. But if you can't think of that number line in your head, sometimes you'll get it right and sometimes you'll get it wrong because you're gonna forget that negative. So if we start at two and we count left, we end up at negative three. We can try this on a calculator, just do five, or two subtract five, and the answer will always be negative three. And the good news is after school, you'll often use a calculator for these kinds of calculations and calculators don't mess up. All right, arrange these four numbers in order from least to greatest. Again, we know anything um, with a negative is going to be on the left side. Anything with a positive is going to be on the right side of zero. So it's really easy for us to arrange zero and then the positive one. The challenge is which order do the negatives go? Well, the bigger the number on the negative, the farther to the left. So we're going to go with negative two, then negative one, then zero, then one, because negative two is farther left on the number line. All right, so negative two, negative one, zero, one. What number is seven less than three? So three is the number we start with, three minus seven. Now normally we would say seven minus three and that gets us four and if we do that we can just stick that negative on, it's gonna be negative four and we'll be right. But the reason that works is we can think on the number line. If we're starting at positive three and we go left seven spots, we're gonna go, the first three will get us to zero and then four more will get us to negative four. So if we break that up to three and four, we get to negative seven. It's confusing, it's gonna take practice. Um, but one, again, once it clicks in, once this really clicks in your brain, it's not hard. This is something that I don't make mistakes on anymore. I did when I was in fifth grade, and it was a little confusing, but it, you'll get it. So the phrase seven less than three means start with three, subtract seven. If we do that, we go seven steps over, we get to negative four. That's it. That's our, our lesson today. Again, it's not hard, but it is tricky. So you want to check your work and always visualize that number line in your mind, okay? That's gonna make it a lot easier for you. And if it helps, draw the number line out. That's a good way to check your work on this is if you draw the number line out and have that starting number and then anytime you're taking the difference or subtracting, you just move to the left, then you're gonna be in good shape, okay? Good luck.